Welcome to my channel. I'm Easy, your friendly professional makeup artist. I aim to help, educate, and empower aspiring makeup artists and makeup enthusiasts. So if you are new to my channel, may this tutorial help you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This video, I'm going to share with you how to become a pro MUA. Here are the 10 tips that you should know. So the first tip in becoming a pro MUA that you should know is number one is always be on time or in my case I'm going to suggest with you is that you should be on the preparation area or in the location ahead ka ng 30 minutes to 60 minutes. Why? Because it, it has enough time for you to rest for a while to set up your makeup stations hindi ka nagka-cramming at least may time ka na may grace period para hindi ka mahirapan sometimes kasi when we have makeup services like weddings especially now Burmans na no there's a time na naghahanap tayo ng location ng preparation area nagtatanong pa tayo so at least you have enough time na hindi ka nagmamadali okay so uh, and it's also a good impression na you are always uh on time or ahead of time. Magandang impression yan sa magiging future clients mo. Number two naman is uh, tips in becoming a professional MUA is number two is be presentable. Okay? Presentable, wear a presentable clothing. Hindi naman kailangan na luxury or sobrang forma. It's up to you. But when you say presentable, um, you have clothes shoes. As much as possible, avoid sleeveless. Okay? Um, mas maganda ang um, either um, with sleeves, but it's up to you, okay? It's your preference. Pero sinasabi ko lang, be presentable. Um, even your hair, tidy your hair. Kung sanay ka na habang nagmimakeup, nakatahil ang buhok mo para hindi na di-disturb, no? Or may bangs ka, clip it while you're doing uh, makeup service. Do that, okay? And wear accessories is up to you. Um, wearing full makeup, it's up to you. The third tip in becoming a pro MUA is you should have a bag or a set bag of all your touch-up kits. Um, especially if you're doing weddings, if you are doing outdoor shoots for photo shoots naman, kailangan meron kang set ng touch-up kit na ready mo nang kuhanin, ready mo nang i-pick up just in case na may kailangan i-touch up sa client mo. Lagi yan, never, never na aalis ka ng bahay mo na wala kang touch-up kit or a touch-up kit na pwede mong ibigay sa bride mo kung hindi ka naman magtatagal sa wedding ng client mo. Okay? And number four is for your future clients. In case na meron ka ng mga paid clients, always have a record, have a calendar of all clients na gagawan mo ng service, all the clients na nag-down payment sa'yo, nag-book sa'yo, never forget them. Always have an organizer or a calendar. And I really advise also to uh, put it also in your mobile phone para hindi mo nakakalimutan to avoid uh, overbookings. Kaya kailangan meron kang list ng mga clients mo. The fifth tip in becoming a pro MUA is you should have a contract. Regardless if you're a freelancer or if you really have a registered business as a professional makeup artist, you should have a contract. One page or two page. Um, the reason for that is it serves as a protection for you and for your client as well. So, kahit nag ka, kahit a simple contract, whether you are going to submit it through email, through social media, as long as you have a contract na naka-list down doon yung list of services na gagawin mo sa client mo. So, the sixth tip that you should know in becoming a pro MUA or pro MUA is that, um, guys, boys and girls, always ask permission first when you are going to take before and after photo of your clients whether it's a bride it's a private client always ask permission okay because there will be come a time na makaka-encounter ka ng client na ayaw nilang i-post in public yung ginawa mong makeup whether it's 100% flawless they don't want to post it in public pero pwede mo yang gamitin uh, 
in person to person kapag may kausap ng client. No? Pwede mo yan gamitin. But they will not agree na i-post sa public yung gawa mo for them. Alright? So, respect uh, their privacy always. Pero, if I'm going to uh, share with you some tip pa, especially when bridal clients, mas maganda you're going to include it in the contract that the photos, the before and after photos, will be used for your marketing purposes. So, the seventh tip that you should know in becoming a pro MUA or a pro MUA is that you, as a makeup artist, you should read your client. You should know how to read the personality of your client. You should know how to read their body language if they feel un um, uncomfortable, if they feel they don't like the way you're doing in their makeup. Always have the eye, no? Kung paano mo tinitignan yung body language nila. Because, you know, a, a great makeup artist must can pay attention doon sa silent uh, cues ng kanilang mga kliyente. Remember that, guys. Um, don't just do makeup. There are times that you have to really read them. Read them well. Read their personality. If gusto nilang nakikipag-usap ka, kung gusto nilang tahimik na makeup artist, no? uh, if they don't like what you're doing, ask them. If you don't like the look, makikita mo yan eh. So, better, you uh, always ask them how, how do they feel. Okay? So, para nakikilala mo, no? alam mong kumilos, doon sa kliyente mo. So, the eighth tip that you should know in becoming a pro MUA or pro MUA is that, ito talaga, um, how can I say this? I mean, yes, you've built rapport with your client. Um, you have this kind of um, initial uh, uh, friendship or not totally friendship, pero naging social friend mo na siya. Be professional. Wag kang maging close or sobrang close or feeling close dun sa client mo, okay? Do not mix your the business with, uh, I don't know if that's the right term, with pleasure. So, as an inspiring MUA, I want you to be reminded to be professional. You're there to do service, not to entertain them. Gets mo? So, when you're there in the location, work. Just work. Pag may konting binibiro, kapag ikaw ang binibiro, sige lang, konting biro, but don't go overboard. Because sabi nga kanina, may mga clients may encounter nila na ayaw nila na masyadong talkative. And may times na may mga client na sensitive, no? Baka mamaya, um, they don't like na super involved ka sa, sa, sa pinag-usapan nila. And they don't, parang nafe-feel na nila na, ano, close ba kayo? Close ba tayo? <laughs> no? Ganon, best, no? So, yeah, wag ganon. Again, to remind you, you are there to work and to give service. The ninth tip that you should know to become a pro MUA. This, talaga, isa sa mga dapat mong do this by heart. Do not gossip your client. Do not create gossip about your client. Regardless, if you're handling a known model, a known celebrity, or a known client, a high-end client, um, regardless kung anong status nila after the service, never gossip them regardless kung may na-encounter kang hindi magandang attitude sa kanila or may ginawa silang hindi maganda hindi man sa'yo but to others shut your mouth what you see what you hear stays here may ganong kasabihan so never gossip them regardless um, whatever you see no, do not gossip your client do not do that so, be professional. Huwag mong ikalat ko ano yung nakita mong hindi maganda sa client mo. Huwag na huwag mong gagawin yan. Um, kasi maapektuhan din yung integrity mo as a makeup artist, ba? And, um, mas maganda na you stay away from gossip because that would save you, no? And, hindi yan makakatulong sa career mo. The last tip, the top 10 tip in becoming a pro MUA that you should know. Ito talaga, put this by heart. As a professional makeup artist, never canceled paid clients. Never canceled paid clients regardless na merong malaking client na nagbubook sa'yo. 
to hire your services. Wag nyo gayahin ng mga ibang professional makeup artist na because may mas malaking dumating, ikakancel nila yung una kasi maliit lang yung booking nito. Do not do that. Sabi nga kanina, protect your integrity as a professional makeup artist. May mga kilala kong makeup artist, professional makeup artist, na kahit anong laki nung binu- nagbubuk sa kanila, they prioritize kahit na ex deal to. Kahit na mababa ang rate because they value by heart, they put it in the heart, the word honor. No, may palabra de honor. Yun ang tatandaan mo as a makeup artist. Regardless, may magbook sa'yo ng malaki. Sure, if you could reschedule that, kung kaya mong uh, gawan siya ng service at the same day, go ahead. Pero kung sa tingin mong alanganin, do not cancel the first one na nagbook sa'yo. Regardless na mababa yung rate. Have the word of honor, guys. Remember, sabi nga, sabi nga ng iba, remember, yung salitang karma. Ni karma. Okay? Kapag ginagawa mo yan. For me, I believe naman, there is a consequences in every action that you do. Okay? So, kung ano ang gawin mo, babalik sa yan. Remember the word of mouth. Word of mouth is a powerful uh, marketing tool. So, you don't know that word of mouth can be a good use sa'yo or a bad thing. Before I end this video, I would like to encourage my aspiring uh, makeup artist, okay, that being a professional makeup artist, it, it's not just a validation of having a makeup school certificate, okay? That certificate only symbolizes that you finished the course. But being a professional makeup artist, it takes time to hone your skills. Being a professional makeup artist is not just having this great skill set, but also all the tips that I've mentioned in becoming a pro mua. Having the right mindset, having the right attitude, being a professional when handling your clients, that is the key in becoming a professional mua. Alright, so if you want to see more of this kind na video, please comment down below if you want um, more advices or if you want makeup basic makeup theories for you to learn comment down below so thank you so much for watching please help me to reach my 1000 goal and if we reach the goal guys a portion of uh, monetization kung monetize ako a portion of that will be given to my chosen beneficiaries. so please don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts and if you want to see more of my previous videos then click here on this end screen right now and if you click that you will be automatically directed on this video god bless you thank you so much for watching bye